Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Rachna. I post nail tutorial videos. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification. Thank you guys joining and today's video I'm going to do acrylic extension with ombre effect and lastly but not least we are going to do 3D nail design. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get into the video. Getting right into today's video, I'm uh, starting off by Sunshine Color from Glitter Planet UK and also I will use Dreamy Color by Glitter Planet UK. And along with it, I'm using the Mia Secret Monomer. I'm gonna go ahead and start by applying Sunshine into my pinkies and this will be Ombre Effect Nail with the Sunshine and the Dreamy Acrylic Powder. So what I'm doing is 3 bit method for this nail and just making sure that I'm blending it nicely into my cuticle area and this makes the filling process a lot easier. All I do is with very light pressure blend it out and then I make sure that I clean the sides from any spillage and try to keep that shape as clean as possible. So now I'm going to taking that dreamy color and I'll uh, use for that my ombre effect. And I'm placing a medium sized bit of acrylic onto the natural nail part. I'm going to lightly blending that into the sunshine. When you are blending it, you definitely want to work thinner just in case you need to fix it later. Sometimes it can be really hard to create that ombre. I'm going to do same process for my index finger as well. try blend the middle section out as much as possible so that it makes a smoother transaction with the dreamy color. middle finger what I'm going to do here I want this nail with the cutout design so for that I will start applying my dreamy color from cuticle area and blending it down if I need to build my apex I'll just add little bit of more or I can fix my apex later when we will capsulate with the clear and I'm applying acrylic as close as I can to the cuticle area and then dragging it down I'm just swiping the sides of my brush to get that cutout effect so that's what I'm doing I'm just shaping the cutout with my brush as sharp as I can and get that excess acrylic off. With help of my hand filer I will file the edges of that line just to make sure when I apply my sunshine it won't be messy at all. I will apply my sunshine color and I'll try to cover as much as I can and don't worry if you goes over because we will be filing at the end anyway
going to do ombre effect as we did on pinky and index but here I will do opposite I will use dreamy at the tips and sunshine at the cuticle area I will use the same method which we used on pinky and index finger just make sure that you blending it well and cleaning the side to side I'm so sorry guys that this footage is blurry so I'm sorry about that but I will fix it soon in this video For my ring finger, guess what I'm going to do? I am doing it first time, so just please bear with me. I have no idea, I'm still trying and I'll try my best to do it. I'm creating beautiful knitting nail design. So I'm gonna start with my dreamy color. I will cover whole nail with that and I want this to be solid thick. Don't want it to be too thin because I'm gonna do press some netting into this acrylic. So if it will be too thin, you won't get that effect. So don't go too thin with this acrylic. And then uh, straight away, you want it to start pressing that netting into the nails. Before applying, just don't forget to dip your netting into acrylic powder. Uh, same powder you are using or you can dip into the clear. I will press my netting into my nail I will mess up little bit here but don't worry somehow I tried to manage and then very gently just tease the netting don't pull it out just very gently teasing out just in case it pulls an acrylic with it and then you can use your brush your acrylic brush with a little bit of monomer press it and make sure it's not stuck up anywhere So that nail now set the acrylic so we are gonna go on and cap this whole nail with my Mia Secret white powder and make sure the ratio of the bead should be wet than the normal bead. I just wanna be able to just kind of brush in it and have run inside all the openings so we can get nice mermaid netting design and if you do overlapping with that don't worry we will gonna file that at the end. We going to do is allow this to dry and we gonna file into the shape and then you gonna see my mermaid knitting designs look like. So before capsulating with clear acrylic I am going to file with my e filer. I will do for both nails. First I will start with my ring finger. We did mermaid knitting design and we cover with the white acrylic. So I am gonna file that out. So we can get that beautiful design and then I will file it my middle finger. We did it cut out design on that nail. So now I'm going to capsulating with my clear acrylic powder. Remember whenever you are using some color acrylic, don't forget to capsulate with clear. 
so always put thin layer of your whatever color acrylic you are using so when you capsulate with your clear your nail won't be bulky so the reason for capsulating is you will save some product and also it won't affect your color acrylic while you filing After that I will file my old nails off camera and then I will show you 3D nail design so file your nail edges nice and even So now we will start our 3D nail design on my index finger I'm using IBS 3D nail brush and it's a number 2 I will grab really small bit and I'm going to place it right in the center. Just try to grab each bit the same size. If you don't it's okay. It's not going to be a perfect tree flower. For this kind of flower, do recommend for you guys to let the bit set for about a second and then start moving it. So it can give you a good texture. Because if you place the bit and start moving right away, it's going to be a little bit too wet. So it's just gonna move everywhere and we don't want that. And with your brush, I mean just tip of your brush, just try to put it flat and you will get nice paddle and a good texture. Just keep watching and don't try to rush through it. If you are practicing at home, I really hope these tips do help you guys. So just keep on watching.
I'm just gonna grab my base coat and I will put some stones for my pinky. I always use base coat to apply my stones. It's never coming out even though I'm wearing that nails about 3 or 4 weeks. So I do recommend you guys use your base coat or your nail glue if you are comfortable with that. I like to use my base coat. After that I will cure for 60 seconds. Now I will apply my top coat and I will cure it for 60 seconds. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know guys what do you think about this look comment me below don't forget to subscribe my channel and follow me on instagram i do post different nail art video there so don't forget to follow me and everything i have used in this video i will mention it below thank you i will see you in the next video bye bye